question 107 we are going to solve questions in which the first order first degree differential equations are homogeneous in nature uh, this is the first question from that section before taking up the section I will just give a quick intro to what homogeneous equations are and uh, the steps used to general steps that can be used that we can use to solve the problems so this is homogeneous equations definition uh, a differential equation of first order, first order and first degree is said to be homogeneous if it can be put in the form dy by dx is equal to f of y by x so if we can rearrange the terms in such a manner that every occurrence of y and x is in the form y by x or its powers we can say that it's homogeneous we will see uh, while solving the question various examples of homogeneous equation so sol uh, working rule for solving homogeneous equations are uh, sorry first step uh, we will write dy by dx as a function of y by x and put y by x is equal to v uh, a substitution um, that means y equal to vx uh, differentiating we get dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx now in the equation 1 we will substitute for dy by dx with v plus x dv by dx and function of y by x becomes function of v since our substitution is y by x is equal to v so once we get the form uh, v plus x dv by dx is equal to function of v now uh, this question can be solved in the same manner that we used for questions that can be solved using method of separation of variables now v and x are the variables we will separate them uh, bring all the terms of v to one side and x to the other and uh, then integrate to find the solution to the differential equation so these are the working rule for solving homogeneous equation we'll use these steps to solve the coming problems and we'll take up the first question now question 107 solve x cube plus 3 x y square dx plus y cube plus 3 x square y dy equal to 0 first let's rearrange the terms so that we get dy by dx dy by dx here is minus of x cube plus 3 x y square by y cube plus 3 x square y so if you check you can see that uh, if you take x cube out uh, and y cube from the denominator outside we can make this into a form such that it is a function of y by x uh, since this is the first question I will just show let's take x cube out so this becomes 1 plus 3 y by x the whole square and y cube out let's this becomes 1 plus 3 uh, x square by y square it becomes so 3 y by x the whole square so this is a function now this can be also uh, this x cube can also be written as y by x the whole cube so this whole thing becomes a function of y by x so, and we can say that this is a homogeneous equation we don't have to write this uh, tab for every question we can just observe the powers and see whether this can be converted to y by x and put the substitution and proceed so what we will do is once we have identified this as a 
homogeneous equation we we will put the substitution y equal to vx so uh, let this be equation 1 let this be equation 2 so that uh, differentiating 2 with respect to x we get dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx equal this be equation 3 now we used product rule here and dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx now using 2 and 3 uh, 1 becomes uh, we will write dy by dx LHS is dy by dx it becomes v plus x dv by dx RHS is minus of x cube plus 3x into y square so y is vx so that becomes 3v square x cube by uh, y cube becomes y equal to vx so v cube x cube plus 3 into x square into vx so 3v x cube now uh, v x v x cube if you take numerator uh, we can take uh, x cube common from numerator and denominator and it gets cancelled out and rearranging we get x dv by dx is equal to uh, minus of 1 plus 3v square by v cube plus 3v minus v so simplifying this we get minus 1 minus 3v minus v raised to 4 sorry minus v raised to 4 uh, minus uh, 3v square this is 3v square minus 1 minus 3v square uh, minus v raised to 4 minus 3v square by v cube plus 3v so this is x dv by dx now let's bring all the v terms to one side that becomes v cube plus 3v by Uh, so this is uh, let's take minus outside so minus so every term becomes positive so that is v raised to 4 um, my, this is minus 3 y square minus 3 y minus 6 so plus 6 v square uh, minus 1 becomes plus 1 we took minus 1 outside so dv equal to uh, dx by x so if you observe the derivative uh, if we multiply um, uh, if the denominator v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 the derivative is 4 v cube uh, plus 12 v uh, we can see, we see that there is v cube plus 3 v here so if we multiply uh, the LHS and RHS by 4 we get 4 v cube plus 3 v uh, 4 into 3 12 v so the derivative of denominator is in the numerator so we can take log easily while integrating we can easily integrate it so let's let's multiply integrate uh, let's integrate both sides and multiply 4 on both sides we get integral 4 v cube plus 12 v by v raised to 4 plus 6 v square 
plus 1 dv equal to integral dx4 dx by x and we will put a constant here uh, integration constant so we have this now as you know we um, the if if there is an integral such that f dash of x by f of x dx the integral of this is log f of x so now v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 is f of v and its derivatives is in the numerator so we can write straight away the integral as minus log v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 equal to 4 log x 1 by x integral is log x plus a constant now we can take uh, let's say low c is log c um, this can also be written as minus log v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 equal to log x raised to 4 let's see uh, let's write c as log c1 so that becomes this uh, log a plus b is log a b so we can take c1 inside so the c1 um, so log a plus log b formula i applied log a plus log b and for log x is nothing but log x raised to 4 logarithm property so i use that so now we can take e to the power on both sides uh, Oh, since there is no constant we can equate what's inside if you take logarithm to both uh, the log in the LHS to RHS and again apply the log a plus b property we can write uh, x raised to 4 into v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 into c1 equal to 1 log a plus b is equal to so log of this is equal to 1 if anyone has any confusion I will write the steps so, so log x raised to 4 dot c1 plus log So, was equal to c let's say call it a constant c uh, we d suppose if we didn't uh, take c inside uh, rather kept it on the lhs let's call it minus c will become c1 so in that case i'll just make this c1 okay so c i took c to the lhs c1 minus c is equal to c1 and log to this rhs so this becomes x raised to 4 so sorry so there is no c1 here So x raised to 4 a log a plus b formula so x raised to 4 into 
v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 log of this is equal to c1 so if you take e to the power on both sides uh, e, e raised to c is another constant so let's write x raised to 4 into v raised to 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 is equal to c2 say call it c2 so we get this now we can apply v is equal to uh, y by x so that becomes x raised to 4 dot y raised to 4 by x raised to 4 plus 6 by square by x square plus 1 equal to c2 so if we take x raised to 4 inside we get uh, y raised to 4 plus 6 x square y square plus x raised to 4 equal to c2 this is the answer we can also make we rewrite this in this form if the answer given is x square plus y square the whole square what happens x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 plus 2 x square y square so there is a 4 x square y square left we can write this in this form also this is the solution form that's given in the text so this is also right this is just they uh, made it in uh, reduce the form to uh, to more readable one so that's all this is the solution to question 107 so these are the steps this is the solution to question 107 uh, and this is the first question that uh, that has homogeneous equation and we have applied the working rules to solve the homogeneous equation to this question so question 107